Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor again at Taylor Coach and Tracy's RV Center in Milgrove, Ontario. We uh, shoot another video on a 12 foot. This is sort of for, you know, you couples out there that are deciding to sort of get out of the tent and want to get into a, a travel trailer and don't want all those bells and whistles. So we decided to shoot this video to show you some of the, the things that this particular couple have chose to leave off this trailer because they weren't looking for those features to show, you know, how many things you can get a trailer without and, and it's more after your comfortable beds and lots of storage. Like leaving the awnings off, the awnings off the back. Um, maybe eventually someday, you know, they might want to put a tarp up or something like that, but it's their choice, but they also have the choice to add an awning to it if they ever want to down the road. So, uh, hey, let's take you inside here and we'll show you what we did on a few features on the inside of it. Hey, now we got you on the inside of this particular trailer. Showing you some of the things that uh, they were looking for. Um, you know, they've got their uh, 2.7 in, in a uh, gas electric uh, fridge here by Dometic. Um, we've got a two burner cooktop, and they chose to not have a sink. They uh, didn't want any water on board or anything like that. They can still have the option of putting a dish pan here to do up a few dishes and that. Um, but uh, this way here, there is no winterization to the trailer that they have to worry about the plumbing or anything like that, which just keeps it very simple. But they do have the option with having the stove when they're on the road and they're traveling, they can stop, make a quick meal without worrying about pulling out a portable stove and everything like that that you traditionally do when you're camping. Or you go into a restaurant and you're eating, this right here, you can make something yourself. You still got lots of storage up above. They did go with a microwave. And for bathroom facilities, they're just going to install a portable toilet. They didn't want uh, any built-in toilet. There's no shower in it or anything like that. Again, those were features that they were looking for. They wanted to keep it simple. It reminded them more of uh, their, their tenting days and stuff like that. But now they don't have to run across the field because once they put that portable toilet in there, if it's a rainy night, they don't have to worry about running across the field. Or if you're traveling and you're looking for a bathroom, you do have it on board so you can stop and it's easy you know, to get in. You can use the bathroom. And for winterization, you can pick up your toilet, store it downstairs or store it somewhere in your house, give it a wash, store it away, and you don't have to worry about the cold being left out in the trailer. Uh, over this corner here, traditionally there was a closet also, and again, they, they chose to leave the closet out. So they've got a nice... Uh, We'll get Bob to slip by me here with a camera. What they've got here is they've got a 80 inch long, uh, this is a twin bed model, so it's a, it's an 80 inch by 32, so it just pulls out, oh, so it just easily pulls out, goes down, makes into a nice 80 by 32 inch uh, single bed. You still got that little walkway down between it here, so when you get up during the night, if you gotta use the bathroom or anything like that, or if one chooses to go to bed earlier and the other one chooses to want to stay up and maybe, you know, play uh, solitary or play on their laptop or anything like that, they have the option that they can do that. Because you still have a 30, this is a 30 inch uh, twin bed over here or single bed I should say. You've got storage underneath the seats. We've got a little ledge up here still for your knickknacks. Um, we still have our bunk at the front. Um, they didn't want the cushions in the bunk, so it's just a great place for storage of all their extra bedding and things like that. You've got the large side window here for lots of visibility outside while they're sitting at the dinette. Still have the front window. And, you know, same great old things. Oh, they got the fantastic fan and that. So they still got some of the great features, but keeping it simple at the same point. You know, having the fridge, you don't have to worry about the coolers and all that kind of stuff when you're out there. Um, coolers can be just for beverages if you want them, otherwise than that, you've got the fridge on board to keep cold so you're not looking for ice all the time. So, you know, they, they've made it a little bit more creature friendly that uh, they've got those on board, but keeping back to the roots where they really wanted to be on the camping aspect. But there is still no canvas to set up, don't have to worry about those rainy nights or anything like that. It's going to be dry all the time, you know. So. Uh, you know, that's what this particular couple were looking for. Again, if you guys got any ideas, if you're looking for something in a trailer, don't hesitate to uh, give me a shout on the phone or you can send us an email. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach and Tracy's RV Center in Millgrove, Ontario, Canada. Hey, look forward to hearing from you. Hope you're having a, a great day and watch for more videos down the road. Take care. Bye now.